Okay, so we're supposed to integrate from 0 to B, and B is somewhere here, so that the area of this quarter circle and the area of this shape here cancel out because the quarter circle has a positive area given it's above the x-axis and this one has a negative area given that it's below the x-axis. Now, let's first find the area of this semicircle. It's going to be, I mean, sorry, quarter circle is going to be pi r squared over 4. So the r is going to be a 3. So it's going to be pi times 9 over 4. Okay. We're going to find out how much that is later on in decimals using decimals. Next, I am given that the, uh, the slope is negative 1 for this line which I can use to find the, uh, the equation of the line uh, using the point uh, 3 and 0. So we can do y minus y1 is equal to the slope x minus x1. So y is equal to minus x plus 3. And then we can go ahead and we can integrate the minus x plus 3 dx from the starting point of 3 to the ending point that we're about to find out what that is okay um, so what I will have to do is just you know plug in every single value here until uh, my area is equal to 9 pi over 4 and now it's time to go to Desmos so now in Desmos I'm going to start by plugging in 9 pi over 4 so I'm going to do 9 um, pi divided by 4 that's going to be 7.068 and now my integration my integral so I should go to integral from uh, 3 to the upper value which I will leave for now uh, minus x plus 3 dx okay now I'm going to be plugging in all my choices until I get the right answer. Let me get my choices. So these are my choices. Okay, I'll be plugging in all of them until I find uh, an area that's equivalent to the one plotted. Okay, so let me start with the first one, which is uh, 3.7. 60 it's not it's not so a is out then 5.548 again it's not negative 7.068 5.5 sorry 5.659 not the same so a b's here out let's check d 6.6, .6, no, sorry, 6.760. Yep, these are essentially the same. And so, uh, you know, my answer is going to be choice D. So going back here, my answer is going to be choice D. Because right now, if I add the area of the quarter circle, which is positive, and the area of the shape, which I found to be a negative, um, at B, I will get a zero area.